What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over this so-called new event. By the way, DICE wants to call this a new event. We're gonna go over that and we're gonna go over the future of Battlefield franchise if DICE basically keeps doing what they're doing. Because from what I've seen so far, they just cannot deliver a live service game anymore. They just can't deliver what's needed to keep a live service game alive. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this video are already on the same page with me. So if you enjoy the content, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well because more videos like this are coming your way and we've got all the news covered up here. But without further ado, let's just get on with the video and take a look at this so-called new event in game. So Year of the Dragon event, let's take a look and see what the hell is going on here. We've got a Rush Chaos XL, which is just basically you destroying or defending MCOMs with faster movements and faster bullets and faster equipment throwing, 10 times more reinforcements, all that kind of stuff with 128 players. Like, just like always, you've got some bullshit here that you're gonna get as long as you keep getting ribbons in game. And there's nothing really special here. There's an XP boost, there's a weapon charm, and like the ultimate thing is kind of a weapon skin for the Super 500. That's literally it. So they call this a new event and they expect us Battlefield players to actually assume that this is new content and be entertained with it. That's literally what DICE thinks and what DICE wants us to do. What is new about this event in your opinion? The only thing that's kind of a new is a weapon charm and a weapon skin. That's literally it. And they call this a new event. This is supposed to be new content for us. This is something we're supposed to enjoy. Now, what's interesting is the last time we've got actual new content, like new weapons and like new maps, was the beginning of season six. It was about four or almost five months ago. And the next time that we're going to get this is in March. That's at least a month ahead of us. So if you just ask yourself that if DICE is currently working on a Battlefield game, a part of the team is literally working on that game, and that's fine. But they've got a live service game right now, which is called Battlefield 2042, and they need to deliver new content for this game to be like considered a live service game. And this is how they're delivering, five months without content. So let's just imagine that we're in 2025, and the new Battlefield game has just released. What the hell is DICE going to do to keep this game entertaining? I mean, what the hell are they going to do? There is a game like Battlefield 2042 with more than two years of existence, and they still can't make something, some kind of a new content to entertain those who, the few people who play. I believe it's like 10,000 last time I checked. The game is literally dying because of DICE not knowing how to entertain the player base. And that's not the only reason. There are many reasons for this specific thing. The main reason is the game is just broken in many aspects. Battlefield 5 is way better than Battlefield 2042. And a lot of people basically prefer to play that game. If it wasn't for my YouTube channel, I would certainly play Battlefield 5 instead of Battlefield 2042. That is something for sure. But that's the deal. If DICE is going to act the way they're acting for the future Battlefield game, then that game's already dead. That game is already destroyed because these guys have no idea what they're doing. Imagine calling this new content. How could a weapon skin and a weapon charm be new content when your game mode is literally two years old? Like Rush Chaos XL, seriously? And I believe some people still defend DICE for God knows what reason, but the situation is really escalating quickly. It's like Battlefield 2042 is losing players and players lose interest in Battlefield 2042 at a significantly high rate. And I'm pretty sure if this keeps going on, the game will be just empty in like two weeks. It already is empty in some locations. I believe in North America or even in Middle East, things are just fucked up. Like bot lobbies are just growing as we're getting closer and closer to March. And this thing just can't stop without new content. And the roadmap to season seven, this February that we've got, ahead of us has literally zero zero content all there is is just like control coming back what the hell is that like that's not even that's nothing so the matter of discussion right here is that if dice can't keep up the bare minimum expectations that the players have 
for Battlefield 2042, which is literally just something new to play, something new to keep us entertained. So how are they going to meet the expectations for a new Battlefield game? Where everyone from Battlefield 1, from Battlefield 5, from Battlefield 2042, grab that new game and want to test it out, want to make sure that DICE finally has learned their lessons and pick that game to play. And after two months, there's literally nothing going on in that game. And you've probably seen the comments from ex-developers from DICE uh, they're just speaking about not having a solid schedule. They're speaking about not having a solid plan. They're speaking about the management being just trash. So the problem in DICE is not a the actual people who work there. It's the head. You should go and take a look at the management, the big boys, and see what the hell are they doing. Because whatever it is, the ex-developers, all they say is that the management is just ridiculous. And there is no plan. There's nothing. And the studio is just crashing down. And I, as a Battlefield player and as a content creator, can absolutely confirm that because I'm seeing the consequences in the game. It's literally obvious that DICE is dying from inside. They've just left 2042 to somehow die, knowing that everyone is playing Battlefield 5. And they're not supporting Battlefield 5 anymore. There's no new content for that game. So they're now just letting everything go. And that's fine for them because they literally have to do nothing. Battlefield 5 is not supported anymore. There's no new content. And Battlefield 2042, well, nobody plays it. Why bother? Probably that's what they say. So if this is the case for the new Battlefield title, we're literally all doomed. The Battlefield franchise is doomed. That's just the broken cycle. So go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Because from what I'm seeing, the future is not bright, people. There's so many things going on with DICE. And they can't seemingly do anything about it. They're just stuck. And if this is the case, as I've said before, we're all doomed. So drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you agree with me, is there any solutions that you can think of? Or if you disagree, just let me know why and let me know your thought process. And I'll be really thankful. So you can basically come to a conclusion about what can DICE do to get out of this mess. Because it's not about a studio anymore. It's not about a title anymore. It's about the whole franchise. The whole franchise is at stake right now. And thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, stay cool.